Hello and welcome, my name is 225 and this is a Tab G head to toe tutorial video. So first of all, this game is a pretty open physics based battle royale that was made by Landfall. Very important for starting element is your inventory, you press tab to get that open. You'll see that it's not very conventional, you have your guy in the middle, and here's your inventory which will carry all of your ammo, grenades, stuff like that. So in your first weapon slots, here's where you store your weapons. You can only hold three, sometimes a little bit more. I'll get back to that in a second. So you pick up a gun with E by looking at it, and then it'll go into your first weapon slot. And you notice that there are these three slots next to it, scope, muzzle, and utility. These are these things right here, all of these that you can put on your gun. For instance, a 8x scope and a red dot will be on for your scope section. A suppressor or a compensator will go for your muzzle. And then a damage analyzer or a laser sight would be for these. You can put these on by either right-clicking them in your slot that you have selected by pressing the number keys, dragging them onto the gun or just dragging it onto the slot itself and that'll put them in there. And they all affect their gun just as they would do by their names. You can see that this is a suppressor, so of course it makes the gun quieter than it would without it. There's this red dot, of course, which is different than your typical iron sight. And then this laser sight, which of course without it, you don't have that. So the guns typically when they're stock, they don't have anything on it. And then these barrel attachments, sights, and utilities are very useful just to make the gun a little bit better. I'll make a separate video on what barrels and attachments are good for each gun, but that'll be coming up later. For now, this is just your head-to-toe tutorial. There's a couple different types of guns. There's rifles and SMGs like these and these right here. There's snipers like all of these. Shotguns like these in, on here. Crossbows, which are a little bit rare. And then pistols like these and these. All of the pistols are one slot guns for your th third slot. So you pick it up and you'll notice it'll go into your third slot by default, but you can carry them in higher quantities. Like I was telling earlier, if you're carrying more guns by putting them into your second slot, just dragging them in and then you're dual wielding. It should be noted that even if you have a sight on these, you can't use them because left click is shooting and then right click just shoots your other gun. So you can shoot them both together by holding left and right click, but you can't use the sights on them at all because you're holding both of them. Now another important item is melee weapons. These are a little bit fun to use, but they're also a little bit annoying to operate because you have to get up really close and they all have their own perks and that I'll also make a separate video for, but this is a, another weapon type that you need to keep in mind. Next is grenades. This game has three typical grenades that you'll see just like any other games like grenade, smoke grenade, and stun grenade. This is just, you know, a frag, a smoke, and a flashbang. All of these work just how you would expect them to. When you pick them up, they go in your uh, these grenade slots by default, but if you can pick up more, then it'll just go into your inventory. And you go into your grenade slots by pressing 4, and you cycle through them by pressing 4 as well. And these work just how you would expect them. You throw a grenade and it just does damage after a short amount of time, it'll blow up and kill that guy. Next, if I throw the smoke grenade, you'll see that in just a little bit, it's going to have some smoke that comes in the air, which you can't see through. And of course, a flashbang. When you throw that down, it's going to, if you look at it, then it'll blind you. And it should be noted, you can still operate your inventory while you do this, but these flashbangs uh, do stack and they last a very long time and you can't see anything. So it's not, it's very, very annoying. Next is ammo types. All of this ammo that you'll find in the game uh, it typically spawns next to its uh, gun, but you can't find some laying down on its own. For, there are, for each weapon type that you have, you'll see that if it's a required weapon, then it won't have this exclamation mark next to it like the shotgun ammo does. For instance, the AKS uh, requires a small ammo and not shotgun ammo, so any ammo that you don't need, it'll have this, as I said, ammo type not needed. And you'll find it throughout the game, and of course you need it to shoot your guns. Next, the most unique part of Tab G that actually makes it with the special game that it is, is Blessings, which are all of these right here. Blessings are definitely the key element of this game, which is the recipe for victory. There are four tiers of Blessings. As you can see, there is Common, Rare, Epic, and Legendary. Epic has the most Blessings, and because there are some special ones, which I'll get into later, and I will make an entire separate video just for Blessings. But for now, I'm just going to show you some uh, default things that you should get to know. For instance, if you do get a speed blessing, it says plus 100% speed, and now I'm much, much faster. If I drop that, then I don't have it. You can only have three at one time. But if you pick up more, like for instance, if I pick up all of these, and then I also pick up that speed, then it'll just go into your inventory, just like everything else that you pick up by default. So you can swap them out as you like. But all of them do their own separate thing, and they're all very self-explanatory. And as you can see here, this legendary regeneration, if you get hurt, then this will heal you. For this epic spray, as it says, it will increases your fire rate, mag size, and reload speed. So I can reload from here, and it gives me much more ammo, and I can shoot faster. These are all self-explanatory, and you'll find common ones more often, obviously. And each blessing does very, very well with specific guns, which I will also make a specific video for of blessing combinations, because there's a very wide range of blessings that you can use in order to maximize your deadliness. 
But otherwise, there's, there's a ton of blessings, and I will make a separate video to cover all of them and combinations for them. But just look out for them, read what they are, and see if they fit your gun as well. That's very, very important. And of course, for the actual playability itself, when you spawn in the game, there is this whole map, and you'll see there's a bus path that'll go through that you can drop to these locations. All of them have their own according loot and people who go to them, obviously. So you'll find your blessings, your guns, your ammo, grenades, all of that. You go through and there'll be a ring that comes around and drops down, kind of like the storm in Fortnite or the, the whatever else it is in PUBG. It's a very familiar concept for all other battle royales. So it's a very, very straightforward killing mechanism. Just the actual part that you have to get used to is using the guns and operating them, getting through your inventory and getting used to all the blessings, which is something that is kind of a learning curve. That's what makes this game so special. So that is it. Thank you for watching 225 Loud and Live Tabby Tutorials. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.